we're going to have to open this door. Um, and, you know, what we want to do is a steel door. Um, and, you know, most most doors are going to be a bit, you know, they're going to be hollow core. You know, I mean, a lot of them are, you know, this is still a hollow core door, but it's still pretty heavy gauge steel. You know, of course, now the framework is, is steel. So what we're going to do is, you know, when we start destroying this door, we're probably going to do damage to the door. Right? I mean, that's what we want to do. But what I end up seeing a bunch of firemen do is they always want to come in and say, like, you're on the ambulance every day, and you finally get to come in and train. So I put a tool in your hand, and then you, what you do is you come in here, and you want to show the other firemen how strong you are. What you do is you destroy the door way too much. jam, right? If you look down the door jam, you can see what's holding the door shut, correct? Now this could be a, this could be a, you know, just from the doorknob, or it could be a deadbolt, right? You can look at it and you can tell. There's a couple different now, parts. This Halligan tool is actually three pieces, and it's about the cheapest one they're going to get on the market, right? And the reason they do it is because when this piece gets to, you know, gets messed up, it's going to, they can take it apart and put another one on there, all right? So what what do we call this part of the house? Right? Port, port. What? Port, port. Good, good job. It's the forks. All right. Then you have this piece right here. Exactly. Pick, pike. You know, pointy piece, whatever you want. But pick or pike is going to be your correct answer. And then this piece right here, what is this called? <laughs> it's called your ads. Okay. It's called your what? Your ads. Ads. Right. Yes, easy. Right? And so now you're looking at this tool and you say, okay, Captain Fonseca, the thing about it is, is what I want to make sure of is that it's not necessary. This, Y'all know how heavy this thing is. I mean, I'm going to say this thing weighs, what, 12 pounds? Maybe 10 pounds? Something like that? What would you say, Captain? 10 or 12. 10 or 12 pounds. You know, so I mean, it's a heavy tool. And I mean, all we have to do is just direct the force in the correct place, right? We're not, we're not, we don't need to manhandle it because the last thing I want to do is get through this door, look at a horrible fire, and be out of breath, right? Remember how we were when we were carrying that hay up the stairs? Mm -hmm. And now you're just now starting to fight fire, okay? And here's my rule on, on the house. Right here. Okay, if I'm holding the halligan, I'm going to be the boss when he hits it, okay? And that's just so I can avoid getting hit in the hand, all right? So what I'm going to do is... I want to destroy about an inch above or below the thing holding the door. Okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go above it. Now I need you to use the flathead side of that if you don't mind. <laughs> and do you mind would you take a knee for me? And what I want is now this doesn't this ain't as cool as Chicago Fire will rescue me. But the fact of the matter is is he's gonna get a much better shot at it. Now here's what I'm gonna say. Two different words. I'm gonna say strike. And when I say strike, he's going to hit it one time. And then I'm going to say strike again, he's going to hit it one time. If I feel like I have a long way to go, I'll say strike, and I'll prepare myself, and I will tell him to drive. And then he can hit it at will. Those are the only words. If he hits it without me telling him to, I mean, I could be moving it, I could be doing something, I'm going to end up getting hit in the back of the hand with that axe, okay? So here's what we're doing. I want you all to listen, because it's going to make different noises, okay? All right. So I got it in there. Ready? Strike. 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 One more time. Strike it.
when you're looking at this, how do I want to open it? William, I mean, if I'm if I want to if I want to open this door right now, what's the way that you're going to attack this door with this tool the way it's in there and open this door? Now imagine this, right? Captain standing behind me watching it. Calaveras is standing back there ready to get some hose lining this thing. We're on the second floor, and where Captain Fonseca is standing is a little three foot railing that goes into a courtyard, correct? Okay. I promise you, you can open the door doing what he says, okay? But it's going to be a little bit harder than you think it is. You know, and I don't want to mess up the metal, but I mean, I've watched people do it plenty of times. And the fact is that they got to put, they got to do it. Oh, you'll open it. But when, by the time you put enough acid to it to open that door, you've already, you've already loaded up. I mean, you've got all kind of energy loaded up into you. And I'm going to bump into Captain. He's going to bump into Tall Bears. Now, it might not knock Tall Bears off the rail, but hey, when I come back and step on the top of his foot, you know, just to catch my balance, maybe he bumps up and, and now Tall Bears drops the hose. And now we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, okay? So you think about it. That will open the door, but what you have here is a three foot long lever that's, that's wedged in there pretty good, all right? Now, all I need to do, and I'm gonna let one of y'all try it. You know what, I'll actually sing it. We're gonna use, so, and the thing about metal is you, you guys take a, a, a coat hanger, right? And you bend it, right? Mm -hmm. What's gonna happen? Okay, but if you bend it before it breaks and you touch that metal, what's it gonna be? Okay, it's gonna be hot. And you know how when you bend it, and it, and it starts getting more and more, it starts to move more and more. Think about this metal. Once you get it moving, it's heating up. As soon as you stop and you let it cool back down, you're gonna have to get that momentum going right back up again, okay? So what we're trying to do, we're trying to, we're basically using leverage, we're heating up that metal, we're gonna bend it out of the way. Once we get it moving, we're gonna keep it moving, okay? But what I'll do is I'll, I'll take, and I'm gonna watch, because I only wanna tear it up enough to what? Get in the Yeah, I don't wanna tear, I don't wanna rip the lock out, I want to be able to open it just enough to pop it. What I'm going to do, I'll give it a downward, I'll give it a downward push, and I'm paying attention when I clear the jam, and I'll take my tool, and I'll open it, and I'm going to open it. Now, I'm not going to open it all the way, because what would I do if I open it? That's okay. I mean, we can still shut that door, okay? And so once we get it, once we get it to the point there, we've got it. Now, instead of having to jump back behind you, you know, I've got it open that much. It's not going to swing out. It's not going to hit anybody, and I've just got it open that much.